Barry McCormick works as an armed security guard. He was on foot patrol with his partner at this housing complex when they found themselves in the middle of a shootout. At that moment when I heard gunfire, my reaction was get my partner to safety because she was unarmed and I reacted. My military instincts just kicked in. A chaotic scene playing out Monday night near 14th and Morgan in University Village. 37-year-old security guard Barry McCormick, an Afghanistan war veteran, was grazed in the head and the arm. Three others were injured in the shooting. Police say it started with two men in their early 20s exchanging gunfire with a 19-year-old. McCormick opened fire and says he thought he hit two of the gunmen, but that's unclear. Police initially said the three gunmen were in custody and multiple weapons were recovered, but no charges have been filed and many questions remain. The Chicago Sun-Times reports the 19-year-old who was critically injured was shot 13 times. A source in the state's attorney's office tells the paper it's possible two men who were injured were unarmed and McCormick may have fired at a group that was running for cover. He says that's not what happened. If they weren't shooting, then how would I get a graze in my head? And he says it doesn't make sense that charges haven't been filed. They shouldn't have been released. Even they recovered guns with those guys. So that should have been enough to, to just keep them in custody alone. And I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. In a statement, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office says after a thorough review of the information presented to us by police, we concluded that the evidence was insufficient to meet our burden of proof to file charges at this time, and the police agreed with this decision. McCormick, who wants to be a Chicago police officer, says he's still processing what happened to him. Yeah, I wasn't ever injured in combat, but I'm injured here. It's a little shocking, but at the end of the day, I'm alive. You know, God was by my side because it could have went, could have been a different way. There could have been dead bodies out there, and I believe had I not intervened, it may have been dead bodies out there. And the state's attorney's office says they will continue to work with Chicago police as they further investigate this crime. Reporting from University Village, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.